Good morning, modern steaders. 66 degrees out this morning. I hear you pigs snorting. 30 degrees out the other day, now it's 66. Did you guys eat your vegetables? No? Look, look at all those carrots. Sheesh. There you go. They're getting pretty large. We'll be harvesting the pigs in another month. We do it to the middle to end of October. We like to wait till it cools off. Finally got the door for our milking room up. If you guys haven't seen the video to that, I'll put a link to it right here. There you go. I have noticed since Willow's been out on pasture, her milk production's been going back up. It'll be interesting to see what we get this morning for milk. Her udder feels nice and full. I ran out of my favorite coffee last week. Oh, I've not been enjoying waiting for my new shipment to come in. I'm hoping it shows up today or tomorrow. I'm missing it. I started drinking free range coffee three, four months ago now and it's so good guys. I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to check it out with a 10% off promo code. It is an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase, I do get a small commission. But I'll tell you what, guys, the coffee is delish. Huh, Willow? You, you didn't eat all your hay. You, hey, you didn't eat all your grain yet, girl. You not hungry this morning? You eating too much good grass and apples out there? There's some good brush. Yeah. So her milk production isn't completely back up to where it was before the breeding season happened, but she was down to one cup. Now she's up to a cup and a half. So that's really good guys. In the milking room, and look at that. They're out there waiting. They're getting more comfortable with the new pasture and they're roaming around more. I love it. Before they would just hide out behind the barn. There you go, go find your babies. Come on and hope. Come on, Tanner. Checking the time. The automatic chicken door should be opening up any minute. I'm gonna go feed the black copper morons and I'm gonna let you sit right here. What you look at? Good morning, guys. <laughs> the dogs are over there looking like, what's going on? Al's not over there opening the door. What do you think of that move? They're calling for a half inch of rain today. I'm not looking forward to it, but our rainwater buckets are getting low, so at least they'll get filled up. We need some tools for today. They want you to say hello to them. We need the staples. Hammer. I probably want our marker. I don't think we need the clamps. the kabota off 
and this pole did stay nice and straight. So pushing it over and then putting some concrete in the hole really secured it and our pole is holding up good. Today we need to put fence over the outside of this pole so the goats can't climb up a bit. And we're gonna put a gate here. I got an eight foot gate there. And we're gonna put a six foot gate here. So we'll get this one hinged and then we can take down this goat panel, at least this one section today. See how far we get before the rain comes in. All right, so the bottom hinge is welded on. This top one is adjustable. There you go, grab uh, my ratchets. They're right here. Uh, watch out, the, the fence guy did give me one trick. I'll have to see how good it works after. Secret. What's that? Secret. Top secret trick. I'll have to see how it works. When is it going to happen? Uh, once we get the gate hung. These little bugs are horrible. They are. All in my face. Alright, so sometimes on these big zip ties, you can save them. You get in there and press that tong down. Yes. This is a trick? This is, a, this is a, no, this is a different trick. But this is a trick. This is your own trick? This is a trick from my pops. And then you can reuse that zip tie. Yeah, as long as you pick it up. I'll let you have it. Because those big zip ties aren't cheap. So this thing is doo -doo -doo -doo. Check my coat off. six no, cool. inches is off the ground. That's pretty level like that. So if we go six, if we go ten, that's uh, let's go eleven to get us above that. That's gonna be pretty high. The bottom of your gate's gonna be right here. Okay. So it's not that high. Oh. Be, it's a I hammer mean, drill. What does that even mean? If you need to, it'll slam it like a hammer. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there, it might want to go bigger still. Oh, yeah. You have a big enough one? I Is think this a so. trick yet? No. The trick's not until after the gate's hung. I'm not going to tell you either. Not I don't like anticipation. I don't like surprises. You don't like surprises? No, you know that. I know, but I want it to be a, I want to tell everybody. I like surprises only if I don't know anything about them. Oh. So that way it's not really a surprise until it happens. Here. I don't need that one. I need this one. It's a good workout. Staples. That's easy, just like putting in those staples. Yep. Probably gonna go right where that screw is. That was lucky. Right, that breeze is nice. If <laughs> you saw it tomorrow, this afternoon, we know why. The further it goes in, the tougher it gets, too. Oh, I thought it was getting easier. No. You might have to give up. It gets pretty hard at the end.
goodness. You guys can just make it look like it's a struggle for you a little bit. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Is that what I sound like? No. <laughs> I just made it easier for you. You did. So this one goes upside I down. I've had them over three days. The trick, yeah. Well, if I line up my bottom. Line it up? Yeah, on my lot, bottom on. That way, wouldn't it? Ow. Yeah, I think that gate's high enough, but not too high. All right, let go. Cool. I think I gotta undo that. No. And just tighten up that top post, and then I'll straighten this out a little bit more. Don't undo that. Yeah, I do. It's gonna take a minute. You gonna take that screw out? No, I gotta tighten it up. Yeah, so after all that work. I gotta tighten it up more. That's all. We just need this to come down. So close to showing you the trick too, but we gotta get this done first. It is hard. could also put some soap and it would act like a lubricator. Whoever made this fence welded the bottom bracket on at an angle. So we gotta. That's what did it on a Friday. Must have done it on a Friday, but we got the gate latch. Alright, let's go. Sweet! Alright, so let me go get one thing and I'll show you the trick that he showed me. Okay. Hey, welcome to my crib. Welcome to your crib. Goat crib. Your goat crib. Alright, do I have the bit on? I do. So this is the tip that the professional fence installer told me. He said, on your hinges that bolt, put a screw in here, because if not, over time, sure. these hinges stop moving and then your gate starts moving all over you. He said, so just yeah. put one screw in it. Nice. You're so yep. Let's chain this to keep it shut for now. six foot gate. But I do want to call out this gate company. What's their name? Tartar Farm and Ranch Equipment. Two of our gates have this little latch thing for the chain to go in and all the other gates are missing it. What's going on guys? Ah, oh, frustrating. I would think if one has it, they should all have it. Did that work? Yeah. Cool.
I'm trying to help Zeke. Good thing we're having steak for dinner. What? Steak for dinner. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds good. Why does it get it? That one's way too high, isn't it? Oh wait, like this one's not welded on. It's like we live in Alaska with all these bugs. Because we're gonna go from here and I'll walk down here. Ow. What? Let's see how fun this is gonna be. Let's do this. I'll lay it out over here and roll it back this way. All right, if you wanna stand on the fence. Am I gonna roll up in this? No, this. Watch out. I didn't know I was going to do that. <laughs> Look at all these bugs. I got scared. It's not nothing. I try to open it. Is there mice in there? No. No, I don't see nothing. If I see a mouse, if it's a mouse, I can't see it. No, no mice. Just some old beeswax. All right. I have to go this way and then that way. I come over here and pull it. Will you staple it? I want to try to get it as tight as we can by just hand pulling it. So it's. So if you just want to make sure the goats don't come out, I'll bring this right out here. Watch out, it might want to tip over. I don't want to hit you. Oops, I should probably shut this gate, huh? 
Yeah, they can. We can get them back here at some point. I just want to take out all these T posts. If we want. I need look at it. Right, they're usually hanging out at the hay feeder. Now they can eat brush. I know, we got finished just in time. The rain's coming. What do you think, Caleb? Zeke, you gotta have this mowed down in no time, huh? rained out a little bit so the goats are hiding in the house. What do you think for eggs today? I'm thinking 16. 16? I'll say 18. What were you gonna say? I don't know. But I'm gonna say 18. Holy moly, we got some dirty eggs. I don't know why. What are you doing? Laying an egg. It's too late in the day to lay an egg. Where'd you come from? I think it was the one that walked in there. She was in that one. And she came out this one. Yeah, I think she laid this one. Little peas on the rock watching the dogs going, what are they doing? Look at all them leaves. I told you it's fall. It is fall, that's for sure. Everything is fallen. Nice red maple leaves. Yeah. Look how pretty this flower is. That is a pretty flower. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep. Almost as beautiful as you. brown gravy with sauteed peppers, mushrooms, and onions. Oh, that's delicious over the steak, the potatoes, and even the broccoli. I think we're gonna make a meatloaf later on this week with the leftover sauce. When I was talking with the fence installer, 
he was telling me, hey, if you ever need to take off your gates, I put a little bolt in the top hinge because they're, they can move. And he says, I find if you don't put a self-tapping screw in a bolt, that over time your gates end up starting to walk and get crooked on you. I would have never thought of that. So I thought that was a cool little trick he shared with us and I wanted to share it with you all. And if you got a gate and it keeps going sideways on you, or if you want to keep your gate from going sideways on you, now you know how the professionals do it. Thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. I hope I get over this cold soon. I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talking like this. So thanks for coming along and putting up with my cold. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.